Welcome to this video on monitoring quality with QSUM charts. QSUMs are a type of control chart that monitor variance in a process over time. They report the cumulative sum of deviations from a target value, hence the name QSUMs. QSUMs can be used to assess whether a process is in control or within tolerances, or out of control or beyond tolerances. To demonstrate, consider a binary event something that has two possible outcomes, one positive and one negative. For instance, a patient that does not become infected is a positive outcome, whereas a patient that does become infected is a negative outcome. QSUMs monitor whether a process is in control by tracking sequential events and their outcomes. Positive outcomes result in an uptick, while negative outcomes result in a downtick. Risk adjustment is used to determine the size of the up or down tick. When an outcome is as expected, the up tick or down tick is smaller. When the outcome varies from what is expected, the ticks are larger. For example, elderly patients with many comorbidities are more likely to experience an adverse event. When we observe an adverse event when it's highly expected, the down tick is relatively small. In comparison, when we observe an first event in a younger patient with no comorbidities, the downtick would be much larger. We use the outcomes from the two years prior to the reporting period to calibrate the expectations going forward so that the risk adjustment reflects current practice. QSUMs use two lines. The upper line tracks positive outcomes and the lower one tracks negative outcomes. These lines max out at zero and never cross the axis. This allows for earlier warning flags to be raised when there's a sudden shift in performance for either the positive or the negative. When the cumulative results reach a control limit, as it does here on patient eight, the process is deemed out of control. There's less than a 5% chance that the cumulative sum of all of these outcomes are the product of randomness. This should serve as a warning flag that the observed performance has varied from what is expected in a non-random way. At this point, the chart resets back to zero and continues monitoring. Multiple contacts with a control limit indicate that an outcome has repeatedly varied from expectations and that the variance is not attributable to random results. QSUMs can be a valuable tool to help distinguish between potential quality issues and random outcomes. However, all negative outcomes should be investigated to identify opportunities for improvement. Thank you.